Hi, and welcome to Legnish Outfitters YouTube channel. I'm Alan. So we've reviewed Springfield Armory uh, weapons before. Uh, they make a pretty large variety of things. A large number of 1911s, uh, different calibers, 9mm, even the small 380s. Uh, they make uh, the M1A rifle. They make a lot of stuff. Their striker fired series is the XD series, which comes out of Croatia. HS product in Croatia makes those. And I think we mentioned before, Springfield, a long time ago, when they looked at those, thought so well of how well constructed those weapons were that they decided to bring them under their brand banner and put their lifetime warranty on them. And in general, the XD is a pretty good pistol. <clears throat> a number of years ago, Springfield came out with the XDS, S meaning single stack, specifically aimed at the blooming concealed carry market. A uh, pretty successful pistol for them. Uh, they made it initially in 45 ACP and then later they made it in 9mm. So what we did today was we took a look at the 45 ACP XDS single stack mod 2. The normal XD series, as you probably know, has started now into the Mod 2 generation. So what they've done with the XDS is the same thing. They've apply, applied improvements to it based on customer feedback, based on their own research and development. So you've got a product improved XDS. Pretty nice pistol. This one again is a 45 ACP. It's empty and safe. I'm going to close it here so you can see the profile a little better. It is aimed at the concealed carry market and it's not a very large pistol at all. 3.3 inch barrel and shares a lot of the same features that most of the other XDs do. Now, what they did with the Mod 2 configuration that's the most noticeable over everything they did, and I've got a, this is a first generation XDS here. This one happens to be a 9mm. It's a 4 inch. We'll ignore that for a moment. What I want you to look at is the grip. Okay, so first generation XDS. Mod 2 XDS. Now this one happens to be a 9mm, but this is 45 of course, but the grips for where the 45s were the same. So you had this kind of a grenade grip was what it was called because it, it sort of reminds you of the old pineapple hand grenades the way those, those uh, chunks almost are in there. Uh, so the other thing that was different in the, on the first generation guns was this back piece right here, this piece right there would come off. You had to drive pin out, you could take it off, put another piece in, they gave you both. They also had some magazine sleeves that would make with either one. So there's a little bit of grip adjustability there. Not very much, but a little bit. On the Mod 2, they completely did away with that. So you don't have that adjustable piece there. They widened this just a little bit, which makes it a little more comfortable, I think. They also went down to a finer texture here and here, and most importantly, right here on the front. A little bit of a shallow finger groove there. Very shallow, not real pronounced at all. So a non-adjustable grip, but it's a little more comfortable, feels a little bit better. Um, it's the same thickness this way, same thickness as the previous generation gun, but the way they reshaped it, it gives, I think, a little bit better subjective feel to it. Uh, and it makes it a little more shootable. Of course, you got the rebated up here where they, they bring that trigger guard up a little bit, which lets you get your finger right up against there. You got a longer tang on the back, which lets you get a nice high grip, which is where you want to be, right? So there you can put your hand in there and you got a good solid grip on the pistol. You can shoot it pretty rapidly and it doesn't move around much on you, even though it's a stout caliber, 45 ACP. Recoil's there, but it's very manageable in this. Certainly more manageable than say a 357 out of a small revolver. Uh, you'll be able to stay on target and deliver rounds faster out of something like this uh, because it's just much more controllable. Recoil's managed better in this type of frame. It has the other XD common features. It has a grip safety in the back that has to be pushed in to make the gun fire, and you're going to do that when you get a normal firing grip on it. Uh, the XD grip safety is pretty forgiving, uh, almost regardless of how you get your grip, unless you're really, really wrong and really sloppy about it, you're going to engage that, so you have to worry about it. It has the same internal safeties, firing pin lock and everything that other weapons do, and it has the safety on the trigger piece so that if it was dropped, that trigger won't travel under its own momentum and disengage everything inside. Red fiber optic fret sight, loaded chamber indicator, which when the gun's firing, and you'll probably see this in a video we shot, this will stand up a little bit. Does not intrude into your sight plane, so it's not going to interfere with that. 
it's up just enough where you can see it. If you couldn't see it, you can put your hand on top of the slide and you can feel it. It tells you that your chamber is loaded. Slide release is on one side only, but the magazine release is on both sides, both sides of the gun. So if you're left-handed, this gun's pretty amenable to you. The magazine release is usually the big thing. Most modern training techniques don't call for reaching for this anyway. They want you to grab the slide because it's just bigger, easier to get to. You're not going to miss that, especially if you're in a hurry. They uh, changed a little bit of the slide sculpting, not hugely. They put some, uh, some nice uh, cocking serrations on the back. It doesn't have front cocking serrations, but it does have them on the back, and they work really well. The rear sight, two white dots, but they changed the profile. If you look at the profile on the first generation guns, it's this low profile slanted sight, which looks really cool. But this has a step in the front of it. Now that's kind of important. It's there for a reason. The reason it's there is if you had to, for some reason, cycle this pistol and you couldn't use both hands to do it, you can hook that sight, and that sight's really in that dovetail stout. You can hook that sight and rack the slide on a table, uh, on the back of your shoe, on something like that. So it gives you a shelf to be able to do that. It does not have sharp edges. They're not super rounded, but they're not sharp. You can run your hand over the top of the gun and there's nothing sharp up there that's necessarily going to get you. With possible exception of that loaded chamber indicator, it's got a couple small edges on the front of it, but chances are you're not going to run your hand over the top of it looking at it anyway. If you just lay it up there, you'll find it. Um, full length frame comes all the way out, but as with other XD products, the recoil spring guide sets just slightly ahead of the frame. So you could actually deliver a contact shot without backing the slide up and actuating the disconnector so you can't fire it. It's a small point, but the XDs do have it. And it's kind of an interesting thing, especially if you have to use this pistol for serious business, which is kind of what it's aimed at. You got a short rail up here with one slot, so you can put lasers, lights, small ones up here on the front of the gun. So it's pretty minimal there. A nice thing that I really like about the grip on this, there's a shallow finger groove right there. It's very shallow. It's, it's almost unnoticeable, but it does give a small division. But one of the nice things they did with the XDS series generally was they've rebated this up a little bit right there at the bottom of the trigger guard, just below where the magazine release is. That's kind of scalloped up there a little bit. Now for me, even with no magazine, and I can get almost my whole hand on there. Speaking of magazines, the XDS 45 Mod 2 comes with two magazines standard. A five rounder with a small extension on the bottom and a six rounder. The six rounder has a sleeve which will slide up and down the magazine. So there's the sleeve for that. The five rounder, when it's in, gives you, with one extra round in the chamber, of course, six rounds. So you got revolver capacity there. You got it in 45 ACP which is a more comfortable round to shoot than magnums out of something this size, like 357s, for example. And you still get a really good proven fight-stopping pistol cartridge. That little extension, good anchor for your small finger. Works well for me. The seven-round magazine, slightly longer, excuse me, six-round magazine, slightly longer. Now we got seven-round capacity. 1911 full-size magazines, normal capacity for years and years was seven rounds, right? So you got that capacity here in this and in a good fight-stopping cartridge. Uh, the magazines are basically the same as the first-generation magazines, except the sleeve is different. So if you have a first-generation magazine for one of these guns, the XDS-45, if you take your sleeve off, the sleeve that gives you the full grip feel, you can use that magazine in this gun, but the sleeve shape is different. So if you don't have a Mod 2 sleeve shape, it's not going to make correctly, okay? The, this, the magazines, by the way, are steel, and they're not bad to load. They're single stack. I mean, you only get five in this one. You only get six in the other one. So they're not super difficult to load at all, uh, and good sturdy magazines. On the subject of handling the pistol, one other thing they did was they took the back of it right here, and if we compare it to the original generation gun, again, see the tang's kind of short here. On the new gun, on the Mod 2, they lengthened that tang just a little bit. That's kind of nice. 
As most of you know, you want your hand right up against that tang anyway. You don't want to be down in this range. You don't want to gap there. You want your hand right up there, and that, that helps you do that pretty easily, pretty well. Makes it very shootable. Um, disassembly and maintenance, very simple with this. It's it's like most semi-auto pistols that are out there today with, with the... Uh, the small nuances that come with the XDs, okay? So the first thing you do, make sure it's empty and safe, right? No magazine, chamber's empty. The disassembly lever is on this side and it rotates up. Rotates up rather than down. Lots of guns, they rotate down. On the XDs, they rotate up, that's all you do. Release the slide forward, it'll stop in that position. Pull the trigger and that releases the slide to come off the gun. So you end up with the frame, captured recall spring and guide, which is becoming a common thing these days. And it's very good because you won't launch the spring. Hit yourself in the face or fly across the kitchen and you can't find it. Who knows? So that won't do that. Push the barrel out. So you end up with the same components that you end up with most things these days. Slide, barrel, recall spring and guide, frame. Pretty simple. Disassembly, as the saying goes, it's in reverse order, right? You put the barrel in first, you put the recall spring and guide back in, and you slide the slide back onto the frame, take it all the way open, push up on your slide lever and lock it up. That might be one thing, you left-handers, you gotta turn the gun around, it's easier to do if you have it in your right hand. Then you just rotate your lever back down, function check it, make sure it works, and it does. Reset on these is not horribly long, right there. So it's not super short, but it's not horribly long either. Striker fired. So the trigger is real common to most of these things. It's in that five and a half, six pound range, something like that. The gun in, in this caliber, in this size, is very, very shootable. Now there are a few single stack 45s around. This one has a few more features than some of the others do. Some of them I've shot. I like this one a little better than some of the others. I haven't shot them all. So, but like most things, it's something you might want to try. But if you're in the market for a 45 ACP, you want the big caliber, but you want it in something that's carryable, concealable, accurate, reliable, there you go. It's a good gun. We like it a whole lot. Price is not bad. $579 on this. Comes with Springfield Armory's lifetime warranty. Two magazines like we talked, five rounder, six rounder. At present, the XDS Mod 245 is only made with a 3.3 inch barrel. They made some four inches in the first generation guns. They haven't done that yet. Will they? I don't know. Maybe, we'll see. But it's a pretty nice pistol. In that caliber, and that size range, it works really well. So that's all I have for this particular episode. If you liked it, let us know. If something you wanna see, let us know. We appreciate you watching us. Uh, for now, I'm Alan for Old English Outfitters. We'll see you next time.